They now force men to do one by one. It's a Christian marriage. This marriage is a Christian marriage. You must live with one wife. That is why the case of Osaiti will never stop. All these women loitering around, who will marry them? Who will marry them? And in five to ten years coming, government will have no other option than to force women on men. So that is why I am saying, you should not compare. Do not do that comparison that your husband cheat, you will cheat. Normally, every man should be living with three wives. This week, this woman will sleep with this man. Cook for him. This other week, the second one will cook. Do you know that those days, in the time of our great-grandmothers, as I am now, maybe I'm of age, I'm getting older and weak, I will bring my younger sister and give my husband to marry. Do you know that? That is why men are ever green. Everly green. Men are foundation. That is why in Ibo land, if you have not given birth to a male child, you have not started. Are you telling that is why in marriages, a woman will be menstruating, and a man will have to wait for five days or dead about after menstruation, the woman will go into ovulation, mood swing, uh, unhappiness, not being happy, shawarma, shawarma time, um, what is it called, a pizza, a pizza mood, so many moods before she come out of the mood. She will tell the man, she don't want to do sex, and I'm not interested. But in the time of our father, when you are menstruating, another woman will take over. All of you cannot menstruate at the same time. If this one is, if you are menstruating, you cannot serve your husband food. You can't cook for him. You cannot sleep with him. We worship our men like God. Our men are our God. Do you understand? But they brought, they brought Western colonization. Took our religion. Took our way of life. Took our culture. Took our, our tradition. Took our everything. Collected our marriage. Gave us white wedding. Gave us so many things that is not benefiting us. And suffering our men in toilet, forcing our men to be doing shocker, 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 shocker in the name of masturbation. And you're telling me that as a woman, that uh, you, you are still going to be insulting your husband. If after watching my video, you continue pointing fingers at your husband that he's a cheat, you are an evil woman and you, dis you are supposed to be ostracized from the land. If after watching this video, you say you must cheat on your husband, that he cheat, you cheat, you should be spat on. You should be ostracized, pursued out of the land. It's a sacrilege for a woman to open her mouth to say that. You don't compare yourself to a man. There's a, a way to go through. You don't have a go through. The men have it. So you don't compare. There is no room for comparison. The Western colonization has affected us. The Western colonization has killed us. That is why Titan will not stop. Side chick will not stop. It did not stop in the Old Testament. It did not stop in the Bible. And the ones that want to introduce New Testament, did it end in New Testament? The recent pastors that we have now, I don't know the New Testament pastors, have they stopped cheating? Have they stopped sleeping with, their, with other women? Have they stopped sleeping with choristers and your wives? The New Testament pastors, I'm asking, hypocrisy. We must go back to our old time religion. The old time religion, we must go time to our, we must go back to our, old way of life we must go back to the way we believe if not you see cheating or no cheating your husband will cheat forget it that uh, oh you both gave us the cheating and he cheated on me now nah. he cheated on me now nah. we know the truth i know the truth you know that you know the truth they gave us cheating he is cheating on you what do you call cheating our fathers married many wives and they stayed in love without jealousy they had concubines without jealousy once he can take care of them they live happily this time around, your husband will just look at a woman on one side and say, Why are you looking at a, a woman? Who is calling you on the phone? Why are you doing this? Why are you not doing that? Bullshit! Western colonization is our problem. And it must change. If not, <laughs> hey, go and, go and build more coffins. Because if the Western colonization did not change us, did not change us with all the problems we, we have faced because of what they have done, if we don't overhaul our reasoning and throw away the Western colonization, embrace our own, take our culture, tradition, if we don't take it, women will be killing their husbands. So we are talking of DNA tests. This time around, they will be openly shooting their husbands because the women of today have wickedness, hatred. My fellow men, the only thing, you see, I'm a woman, but I will tell you, fear woman. 
fear woman. Woman is the only person that met devil face to face. Eat the apple. You did not eat the apple. If a woman tell you she's going to kill you around seven o'clock, it will not pass seven o'clock. She says she will kill you around twelve, brother. Twelve o'clock, you are gone. Go and buy your coffin. So that is why the Western, the Western colonization should go. Men should marry more than one wife, and sanity will be restored in Africa. That is the message I have to tell you today. If you like, you take it all. If you like, continue going around looking for your husband, where who you cheat and who you did not cheat. Now you go suffer at the end of the day. Thank you for 